Hello everybody, Sparky Combs bringing you the yard sale, flea market, and garbage finds for October 5th and 6th, uh, 2013. A uh, decent weekend, not as good as last weekend as far as uh, quality of stuff, but I think I'll do okay. Um, Saturday, they wouldn't that much out there to be honest. As far as yard sales go, it was the first of the month, which is when all the yard sales come out here in good old southeastern Kentucky. But uh, for whatever reason, they didn't seem to be that out, that many out uh, Saturday. And what out, what was out there, honestly, wasn't that good. Did find a few things though, and uh, bought a few things at the flea market uh, this morning, Sunday. So anyway, let's see what I got. Uh, first of up, first of all, I got all these Kentucky Derby glasses. I got, let's see, this one from 1999. It's got all the past ones, 1999. Uh, this one's supposed to have some writing, some writing right there and then right there, but this is from 1969. Uh, one from 95. One from uh, 98. And then these two are the same, and I got them because they were uh, from 1968. 1968, see there, both of them is the same. Uh, pretty good shape, all of them, you know, no chips, nothing like that. Uh, bought some of these before, if you remember on one of the previous videos, I bought a uh, Belmont, Preakness, and uh, Kentucky Derby one from the same year. Honestly, they didn't sell. They ended up going in a charity pile. But we'll see how we do on those. I paid uh, $15 for all of them. Uh, so we'll see how they do. Uh, let's see. A pair of ladies' boots. Paid $2. Um... Two dollars. See, I didn't even look to see what brand they were. Uh, they are. What's that say? Earth Spirit. Something two thousand eight. Gilron two thousand eight. I'll have to look them up. Uh, but they appear they're a little row. A little worn around there and on the back heel, which you expect. Uh, soles are good. That one's got a little more wear on it. Apparently the person was right-handed. If you look, you can tell because it's got, like I said, a little more wear on the right side. Person that wore them. Heels sort of bad on the back. I uh, paid two dollars for those. I'll, I'll probably sell them. Uh, there's a little emblem on them. Probably get a little bit out of them, maybe $12, 13 uh, A pair of women's Nike shoes. They're not shocks like I like to buy. Nike Impacts. Uh, size what? Size, I don't know. Uh, looks like a size 8. 9, size 9. Um, Nike shoes. Soles on them is pretty good. Um, uh, paid four dollars for those. You can tell they've been cleaned, washed, and taken care of, so probably do pretty good on those two. And then the other thing I got yesterday, uh, Harley Davidson, a bag, purse, it's backpack type thing. Good condition. See there, the Harley emblem on there. Uh, this was the deal on this. Um, sitting on the table with a yard sale, I asked the guy how much. He said five dollars. So I figured I could at least double my money, maybe get ten for it. 
And I started, I opened it up, I looked in there and just briefly looked in there and I, there was a bunch of stuff in there and I started to pour it out and I just asked the guy, I said, you just want me to pour this out here? He said, no, nah, just $5, whatever's in there, you can have it. So I didn't really pay much attention. And uh, when I got home, I looked and there is a hooded poncho. Probably keep that for football games. A uh, big find in here is a pair of Harley Davidson sunglasses with case. With case, Harley Davidson there on the side. Actually, it's on this side. Harley Davidson. Very good condition. No scratches or anything on those. So I'm thinking. I don't know how much these go for. I'm thinking 20 bucks, maybe. I'm going to ask probably at least, I'll have to look them up, but at least 20, if not more, for those. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, and a woman's headband, Harley Davidson brand. Headband or scarf. Probably get $5 or so out of that. And there's the front of it there. There's the front of it. Very clean. So that's a pretty good little score for five dollars. Guy didn't look in there. He should have looked. The sunglasses probably, even if they're generic, you can probably get ten dollars out of them. So anyway, probably did pretty good on that. Uh, today at the flea market, uh, got this truck. Let's get up a little bit. Uh, Made in 2007 by Hasbro. And uh, what drew my attention to it, or drew my attention to it, is that all the writing on it and the license plate right there, if you can see that, right there. It's got some writing there on the side. It's on that side too. Is in German. And uh, it's not that old. 2007 is not that old. The front windshield is being busted there. See? It's missing a piece on the top here. Um, but I looked these up. I was standing there and I looked them up. And these things are selling for about 20 bucks a piece. Uh, they're in better condition than this one is. The window's not busted and the little piece there is rusted out. Like I said, it's got a piece on the top. But these are apparently from Germany. Sort of look like World War II. I almost think that for some reason these may be part of an Indiana Jones. Uh, Indiana Jones uh, playset or something. Last Indiana Jones, of course, had some Germans or something like that in it. Might have been one of the past ones. I can't remember, but I don't know. But uh, $2, so... Figure, you know, it's worth a lot more than that, and I may sell it. Um, got this thing. Ah, weighs a ton. These, let's see how this works. It's a Nerf uh, machine gun. There we go, just like that. Nerf machine gun. There we go. And I uh, didn't have the bullets with it. As much needed, what I think is neat about it is it's belt fed. <laughs> uh, you put the little, put the little uh, bullets in there and they shoot out. And uh, put that in there, close it up, shoot it out. The Vulcan EBF. I paid $10 for this. I've never bought a Nerf gun before. I see them all the time. Don't know if I paid too much for it. Apparently it uh, has a battery. I just noticed it has a battery there. But I uh, thought I'd take a chance. Uh, $10. Like I said, it don't come with the bullets. I think I'll make some back off of this. Got to figure it out how that happens. Oh, it comes off, I see. 
Anyways, ten dollars. Uh, I see these out all the time at local yard sales here. Not like this. Not like the machine gun type that's on the tripod and so forth. But see these out. You know they got different uh, uh, different uh, uh, types, big guns like this, Nerf ones. So I th thought I'd give it a shot. Like I said, ten dollars. If I don't sell it. I'll go to Walmart and buy some of the bullets for it. Me and my son Alex will play with it. So. Uh, got that. That may be a pretty good, uh, pretty good find right there for ten dollars. I'm thinking I'll make a little more of that. Uh, oh, I got a knife, Swiss Army knife, or as they are now called, uh, Victron Victrionics. Victronics. Paid twelve dollars for it. Excellent condition. Uh, he had a blue one that I would have preferred, but uh, to be honest with you, this one was in a little bit better shape. Uh, very sharp, been taken care of. Got that for myself. I lost my uh, little camouflage knife that I've carried for the last year and a half. I think it's in my wife's car, but uh, so I bought that for myself. Keep that. And last but not least is uh, this thing. It's a good year, 40 year friendly relations, good year worldwide. I don't know exactly what it means. It's solid brass, little plaque. There you go, there you can see it. Um, guy wanted $15 for it. I turned him down at first, said no, left. And when I say I was leaving, I mean I actually was out of the parking lot in my truck pulling out. I kept thinking about it and thinking about it. Pulled over in a parking lot uh, nearby the flea market there and I looked up, looked them up. There's one online, uh, 20 years, uh, friendly relations, good year. That is a buy it now for $109. I'm not gonna get $100 out of that, I know. But uh, I went back and offered him $10 and he took it. And I don't know. I might have might have wasted my ten dollars. I don't know on that. It's pretty good shape. It's got a little patina, a little discoloration there on the back. Screws work good, but I don't know. But that's it for this week. Um, not a not a good weekend, like I said, but not a bad one. Uh, I think I'll sell most of the stuff I found, but I don't think I'm going to get as much for it as I did from the stuff last weekend. Uh, sales update. Huh? All right, sorry about that. Sales update. Uh, the Brooks and Dunn shirt from the last video from last weekend. I paid four dollars for it. I've already sent it out in the mail. Uh, guy paid uh, twenty-two dollars uh, for that. That includes shipping. He paid, I think, uh, fourteen. Uh, I'm sorry, fifteen. And he actually paid another seven forty. So it was like twenty-two forty that he paid for that. That actually, I would have thought that would have went to Texas or somewhere down south. That actually went to Wisconsin. Uh, so this, uh, the uh, blow up uh, NASCAR number two Miller Lite NASCAR uh, for $15. And this thing here is the Aspen, uh, I don't know, Budweiser Aspen bottle, whatever, the blow up bottle. I've had very few looks at that and I've not uh, had any luck with that so I'm going to throw that in for free to the guy. It's going to Ohio and uh, the UK jersey. Um, paid $3 for this a couple videos ago, paid $3 for this. Uh, I had at one time nine watchers on it. Uh, ended up selling for $18 and of course it's going to Louisville, Kentucky. So that's it for this week. I got a bunch of stuff from the last weekend's finds uh, that should be ending here in three or four days. Hopefully I'll get to make a big video about how good they've all done. Uh, I got a lot of watchers on a couple items. I got a lot of watchers, got a lot of bids on uh, one item. On another item I've got a bid or two so I'll talk to you about those I guess when I make the video. Uh, thanks for watching. That's all for this week. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hopefully next week I'll be able to bring you some more uh, stuff. Thanks.